everybody, this is Dark Magus 1990 and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. Last time we were joined by my girlfriend who, um, was just hanging out and, you know, just talking and all that stuff. We fought Defender X and, uh, yeah, we are actually very, very close to the end of Riku's key, um, not key sphere, um, sphere grid. So one more level, she will learn the bribe ability, which is going to be exponentially awesome for us. Especially since, um, with Kamari, I do not want to wait all till I get all the way over here to learn third level spells. So, some of you may be asking how I taught Kamari what tier go. It's quite elementary, to tell you the truth. Um, those black magic spheres, you can use to uh, teach any character black magic spells that has already been activated. The same thing with the special spheres. Um, I used um, a special sphere to have Kamari learn steel because Kamari's gonna need steel for, spoiler alert, an upcoming boss fight. So, um, we're gonna do so we're gonna do some stat development because I did level up a few episodes ago or something like that. Let's see. Yeah, everyone is very close to the end of their uh to their sphere grid, so um I don't think I'm going to be going into any more Sphere grid developing, unless I get more special spheres, black magic spheres, and the liking. Because what I want to do is that I want to wait till I learn all the black magic spells, the level threes, and then teach them to Yuna. Because um, her magic stat is freaking beast. So let's see, 48. So, um, out of between Kamari and Lulu, Yuna is the most dangerous when it comes to magic. <laughs> So, um, today we're gonna be going to further the story, and, uh, what's going on, guys? This isn't the way in? That way leads down into the valley. Wow, you know to your the way around, yeah? Damned? Maybe. Huh? I actually like that song by Dragon Force. It's, it's pretty cool. Well, let's check it out real quick before going further. Um, let's see... Because after this episode and the next episode, we're going to be heading down here anyway for a side quest. But I want to head over to the right over here. Okay, so we got some new enemies at Podge. So what I want to do is cast haste on myself real quick, so I can switch weapons. I know that sounds pretty silly, because I want to capture these ones. Where is it? There we go. And you're mine. Overkill, there we go. So from here on out, I really, really want to focus on Kimari leveling up. Let's see, ooh, a rusty sword. I wonder what that could mean, viewers. Oh ho. Really? Really? Well, let's use what Terra got. Runners. Ooh, overkill. Nice. Oh, um, you know what? I am full on inventory, but you know what? Screw it. I'm not gonna bother switching. 
alpha weapons and all the zip zaps. I may wind up selling the majority of them because I really don't need them. I don't need the weapons that I get, except for the capture weapons, brotherhood, yada yada yada. I'll just decide what I want to get rid of. So now that we're back on the main road, let us head to Mount Gagazet. Oh my Franzo! And no, not heavy weapons guy. Sometimes Yuna would just stare off into the distance. I finally understood why. She was saying goodbye to the places she'd never see again. Well, isn't that just depressing? But, uh, we are finally here to Mount Gagazette, and this place is freaking monstrous. And what I mean by monstrous, we're going to be consistently running into random encounters, like, twice as much as we did in the previous areas. I mean, I guess it makes sense, because it's one of the last few areas we have to go through in the main story. But, um... Like I said, I'm still going to be going through the, um, every area to capture fiends and all that stuff. Baron, what are you doing here, bruh? You did here, bruh? Summon Ayuna and Guardians, leave here at once. Gagazet is Ronso land, sacred mountain of Yevon. The mountain will not bear the footsteps of infidels. Enemy of Yevon is enemy of Ronso. Leave, traitors! I have cast aside Yevon. I... I follow the temple no more. Then you will die by those words. So be it. Yevon has warped the teachings and betrayed us all. Nothing but a bunch of low-down tricksters, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah! We have no regrets. Blasphemers! A summoner and her guardians. Lord Kelgranso, if I may. Have you not also turned your back on Bavel? But still, you guard Gagazet as a Ronso, not a maester. Yuna is much the same. Huh? Elder Kelk! Let Biran rend them asunder! <laughs> no escape! Not one! No, we will not flee. We will fight and continue on. You have been branded a traitor, but still you would fight sin? Lost to the temple, hated by the people, yet you continue your pilgrimage? Everything lost, what do you fight for? I fight for Spira. The people long for the calm. I can give it to them. It's all I can give. Defeating sin, ending pain. This I can do. Even sacrificing yourself. Hmm. 
Bronzo, let them pass. Summoner Yuna, your will is stronger than steel. Tempered steel that even the mightiest Ronso could not hope to bend. Yuna, we bow to your will. Now go! The sacred heights of Gagazet welcome you. We thank you. Alright! Now that we have access to Mount Gagazet, um... Yeah, it's probably ah, from my the next cool, curtain. Xanarkin's on the other side, huh? Yeah, you're home, yeah? As if you believed me. <laughs> Maybe I do. The one on the other side here is probably just a pile of rubble, yeah? But somewhere out there is your Xanarkin. Somewhere, yeah? Yeah, you'll be home soon enough. I hope you're right. Yeah, cheer up. Let's oh do man, Locke is quite in a chipper mood, but um, yeah, we are finally accessible to Mount Gagazet, and we shall do so. After saving, of course. There we go. And let us walk up to Mount Gagazet, but we're Baran and Yankee. Something is afoot. I can sense it. Hey! Haven't you bothered us enough? Summoner may pass. Guardians may pass. Kimari not pass! Kimari shame Ronso brothers. Kimari forget his birth. Forget his people, forget his mountain. Little Ronso, weakling Ronso. Mountain hate the weak, hate the small. If you will climb, then I must prove my strength. Think you will win? You not forget who took your horn. Never forget. Kimari never beat Brother Biran. Never win. This time, I win. I will win. Why, you... Ugh. This some kind of Ronso thing? Kimari problem. Alright, now we're gonna be fighting Baran and Yankee. All at the same time. Biran rend you asunder! Hard last, hard Oh, shut last. up. Um, now their stats are solely based on what, um... Are solely based on Kamari stats. So if you didn't bother using Kamari at all throughout this playthrough, um, you should be okay, but at the same time, you may be screwed. But what I want to do is I want to use Lanta on Baran, because he has the Doom Blue spell, or the, what should we call it? The, um, Ronso Rage. Now, what I want to do is I want to steal level 3 key spheres from both Baran and Yankee. So I want to steal a total of. Six, I think. Now, every time you use steel, um, the steel rate will drop by about 50%. So, um, it seems that we're doing okay so far, so we need about four more. Nope, nothing. It'll take a while, folks. So. Um, I'm gonna try to steal from Baron again. But first, I want to use a high potion. And then, I'm gonna steal from Baron again. Come on, what the hell? Seems I did only steal two! What is this blasphemy? Right again. All right, Bert Yankee gave us a key sphere with ease. Uh, let's see. 
this is going to be problematic. All I need is three more. Please? Please? from Yankee. Because it seems it's such an easier time stealing from, from him. Or I may just keep the three and keep on with the boss fight, so... Um... But speaking of the bosses themselves, they have some blue magic that I want to learn. Um... Mighty Guard and White Wind. Yankee uses White Wind, so... I want to try to get Yankee's HP as low as possible so he can use White Wind. Now, the way that you learn these bouncer ranges... Okay, I was about to say, is there something wrong with my computer? I mean, my, uh, controller? <laughs> um, you have to watch Baron and Yankee use those. So, you know what? Screw you guys, I am going to assault you relentlessly. Make you show me your white skins. Your white winds and your mighty guards and all the likings. So we're gonna cast Watirga on Yankee. Come on, here's your white wind, bruh. Have a hit. Have a hit, bruh. I can learn Mighty Guard from other fiends, but I really do want to uh, learn it right here, right now. If not, then I'll see what I can do about. Aha! Fourth Key Spear, bitches! I'll see where I can. I'll look up on where I can find. White Wind and the Mighty Guard. on myself, and then I'll learn a uh, white wind from Yankee. Before I kill him. Oh, don't tell me that you're not gonna... Please let me learn, like, learn that white wind. Let me learn that white wind, bruh. Bruh! I did it! Yay! I did it! Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast scan on Baron. I mean, I should have done it at the beginning of the battle, but I was more focused on stealing. Let's see. Okay, so he still has 8,000 hit points. So I should be okay. I was trying to figure out why they weren't using their white, uh, their Ronto Rages early, so. So one more with Tirga should do it. Oh, 
Yeah, one more world Tirga is gonna do it, so. Let's get a high potion in and then. We will cast World Tirga once more. That should just about do it. I think. Uh, let's see. Just throw in a high potion just so I can be safe. This is the strength of Kimari. And you're gonna use Mighty Dark. Perfect. Perfect. I was just fearing that I would overkill the um. Ron or Yankee, so I wouldn't be able to win. Learn any white, white magic or not white magic, blue magic, which is Raza ranges. I can't speak for shit today. There we go. We got that um out of the way. And now I can relentlessly beat the shit out of you guys. <laughs> and now that Thrawn is um Ooh, fifth key spear! That fifth key spear though! Ooh shit. Um, hi potion, please. <laughs> I'm getting a little over um. I'm getting overly cocky, but you know what? Five, five is gonna cut it. So after that last watcher go, it will be game over for Baron. Bam! Oh shit! Nope, not game over. Game over for me? Oh thank you for that. Oh god! Oh god! Oh no no no! You know what? Screw it. X potion. I'm gonna heal myself to max, Perez. Oh god. <laughs> and now for that watcher guy. You win, Kimari Ranzo. Well, that was close. Almost leveled up. Let's see, we get a friend sphere and a return sphere. That is nice. And we're not gonna worry about those weapons. Strong is Kimari. Biran is happy. Sacred Mount Gagazet. I honor the name of strong warrior who defeats Biran. Remember always, Gagazet, that name is Kimari. Mountain knows Kimari strong. Kimari may pass. Summoner, we, Ronzo, will stop pursuers from temple. Truly? Penance for breaking Kimari's horn long ago. We crush enemies following behind. Kimari crush enemies standing before. You are most fortunate, Summoner. I thank you. Ronzo will shine your statue brightest. Uh, thank you. But I fear that no one will make a statue for a traitor such as I am. Then Ronzo will make. With grand horn on head. That would be wonderful. Now, um... I would say that's kind of a reference to Final Fantasy 3. See, with the Summoner class in Final Fantasy 3, 
I wanted to see Yuna's statue too, but I wanted to see it with Yuna by my side. Now the, um... Summoner of Final Fantasy III has a horn on his head, on his hood, I think? I mean, that, I guess that's a little reference to Final Fantasy III, but this is all the time that I have for this video today, so don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and follow me on Facebook and Twitter. This is Dark Magus 1990 signing off. Have a good day.